from the Ballerman Gymnasium on the campus of Hackensack High School in Hackensack, New Jersey. WCTV is proud to present the 64th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. Hello everybody, I'm Larry LaFury along with John Francola. As we get set, John, for our 30th coverage of the Jamboree. Unbelievable. And today we have four games. They're gonna run one right after another. The first game, We'll present Bergen Catholic Crusaders versus the Saddle River Day Rebels. And then there'll be three other games right after that. John, we're back. Bergen Catholic come back, defending champions from last year. They're loaded and they're primed to try to get to the finals in a couple of weeks. Saddle River Day, we saw them last week. Like to shoot the three. It's going oh to be the God. three against the, the powerful Bergen team. This may be a record of three pointers in one given game. It because could, it, Saddle River Day, I mean, they, they must have 20, 25 threes last game. They like to shoot. We saw them last week, um, and they were shooting threes all over the court. Once you hit those threes, you never know. Like today, if Bergen has a, a bad day and Saddle River can light it up, and I mean light it up you may have a big surprise in about two hours. Without a doubt. The threes, you know, got two versus three. That's a half four, one more. And these teams, I mean, they'll shoot three from any play. You know? right. So let me just give you an idea. We, we got here today, we have uh, Bergen Catholic plays uh, Riverdale, and then later on we have Ramapo and Ramsey. Ramsey. And then this afternoon we have a game, very intriguing game. Teaneck St. Joe's and it ends up with Don Bosco Prep against Pascal Valley High School. Four look, games we here till almost six o'clock tonight. I'm looking forward to that th number three game. That, that game, yeah. that could be a, a running up and down between Teaneck and St. Joe's. Well, both teams, Bergen Catholic and Saddle River Day are on the court. They're getting ready to start the game. We'll have the opening introductions in just a moment. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the Township of Washington. We're getting ready to start here. You had the um, announcement of the uh, starting lineup by Joe Hausman, the voice of the Jamboree. Very quickly, Austin Spencer, Terry Copeland, G.D. Wigway, Micaiah Clintman, and Brandon Benjamin for Bergen Catholic. Jacob Carmona, Richard Machado, Jeremiah Yonsi, Evan O'Neill, and Parker Newenhaus will start. Benjamin will jump against Newenhaus as we get the quarterfinals underway, taken down. <coughs> by Wigway and be coming up with the ball, number 13, Clinton. I got two of the referees, All Nick right. Brown and uh, Rick DePenner. Okay. And we'll pick up the third one later in the game. Bergen looking around, trying to get it inside, outside. Spence drives the baseline, throws it back out. Copeland for a long jump shot and gets Great. the rim. So John Terry Copeland puts it in. He got the rim. Machado will bring it up. Watch by Clintman. Machado in the forecourt. Just the start of things here at Hackensack High School. We're in the Ballerman Gym. First of four games. So if you love high school basketball, sit back and enjoy. <laughs> And you know this team Come here, Larry, they love to shoot the three. We're very close to the uh, coaches to our left. Uh, that would be Billy Armstrong. So you, you, you're going to hear a lot of instruction. And knocked out of bounds. It's going to be a, off Bergen. Aggressive uh, defense by Bergen Catholic. Usually early in the morning, people are not there, but yeah, these this 11, team is uh, playing. They're playing right now. These 11 o'clock games are notoriously <laughs> difficult, even for us. Machado, Especially for us. Long jump shot. Oh, that looks good. Whoa. No good. I'm on it. Taken down. O'Neal came out with it. Machado, he's the spark plug of this team. Newhouse, a long three, a hit. So Parker Newenhouse hits the three. 
number 23, Marker. <laughs> so we're 3-3 three, three now. That's right. Long jump shot, no good. Taken down by O'Neal. That was Wigway with the shot. O'Neal has hands to Chuck. Machado. Machado watched by Clinton. Inside the new house, cut off by Copeland. That was a nice defense by Copeland. Machado for three. three. Another three. Like I said, John, they could stay in the game by shooting three. They're giving him two on that one. Stolen. <coughs> Machado has it. So it's five to uh, three. Saddle River Day leads. Oh, they changed that to a two? Yeah, they changed it to uh. two. Basket no good. Almost put back in by Ionsi. Clintman out to Benjamin. Spencer, Benjamin, Clinton. Inside, knocked away. Ridway tried to get, get it up, and he's fouled. Chidi Ridway. He's a freshman, John. Uh, unbelievable. Nice size. Bird and Cat can play with anybody with the size of First personal foul. First key foul at the free throw line. So Wigway will go to the line with two. Just the start of things here, 5-3. Saddle River Day leading, make it 5-4. One more shot for Wigway. All right. Pressure! So we are all tied at 5-13 in the first uh, quarter. Machado having some pressure applied to him by Clinton. Comes across, pulls up. Inside, no good. That was Kimona. Some of our shots are gonna be blocked here with the uh, officials and the players. Well, we do have the camera. We're gonna have to break off that, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Spence, <clears throat> ball gets knocked around and picked up by O'Neal. Oh, right. He's the one of the plays called the Rebel. Yeah, listen, first the 10, five minutes of the game is important for the Rebels. Oh, they got to shoot the three. Newhouse loses possession. Game. Back out to Machado. Machado looked for, looked for a cut, wasn't there. Taken down by Wigway, all the way, puts it up, no good. Benjamin puts it up and gets it. And John, we saw Benjamin last year really play a great game in the finals. He came up big. He's not a standing shooter. He's strong and he goes to the hole. Come on up. Knocked away. They're gonna call a walk. That was made possible by Benjamin. I like the way the referees are calling this game. They're letting them play. To me, let the athletes play. And they're doing a great job. Nalene Parrish is in for uh, Bergen. He has number zero. And then we'll pick up the other substitute. Catch the shoot. Parrish goes back out. Jump shot, no good. Taken down by Machado. Tyler McQuaid is also in. Parker Newhouse to three, short. Taken down by Copeland. Over to Parrish. McQuaid keeps, saves it. Copeland. Woodway. McQuaid outside, no good. Taken away out by, by number 20. Yep. Copeland from deep downtown, and he hits. Second three. No. no, the one was called back. Yes, a 10 5 now. Bergen That's County correct. leads with 2.32 to go. Machado blocked inside. 
O'Neal for three, no good. Taken down by Benjamin, it's a good block out. Parrish now. McQuaid, Copeland from the outside. Another basket. And, have, and Saturday of the day has to call timeout. That's Bergen Catholic. Yep. Bergen Catholic makes a run. And now leads 13 to 5 with 202. John, they just did a great job of playing defense. What I noticed is they're cutting off the passes. And they're making Saturday of the day take that extra dribble to get around and they're just not getting the ball where they want it to get. And, and you know, Larry, when Bergen Catholic shoots the three with the size that they have, they become a machine that's unstoppable. Well, Copeland's got a couple right there, right? He has about three. Uh, three, he has nine points. He's got points. three. Copeland has nine points, three threes. Three threes. Yeah. Wigway, no has, Wigway has two, and Benjamin has two. There's your points. In points, right. Let's yeah, see Ridgeway if... has two foul shots that he made. And if you're, uh, at this point, if you're Saddle oh, River Day, you got to press and back stop pocket. that three from Behind outside. Him. Behind him, back pocket. They can catch it going back. Pressure ready, Dean. Preston Neuenhaus is in, number 15. Amara coming forward. <clears throat> Cut off by Parrish. Carmona, Newenhouse. See, he wanted a three-point shot, but Copeland stopped him. Wouldn't give him a look at the basket. Yeah, Newhouse had a three. It was changed to a two. Ooh. Newenhouse go puts strong. it up. And they're gonna call a foul. So Newenhouse puts it in. And he'll go to the line for a foul shot. Park and Newenhouse will go to the line. One day, Benjamin, his first personal foul, first team foul. That's on Benjamin, huh? At the line, number 23, yes. Parker Newenhouse. So Newenhouse will shoot one, bangs it in, and it's a 13 to 8 game now, as McQuay will bring it up. All the way down, all the way down. All the way down. McQuay, outside. Good long shot by Naeem Parrish. They were telling us before the game, this young man lit it up against St. Joe's. <laughs> That's four threes in the first quarter. Rims the basket, no good. Machado shot, no good. Naeem. Nice hit. Good. There's Copeland, another three for Copeland. Terry Copeland has four threes now. Leads all scorers with 12. 12 points. Machado. And it's a foul. A personal foul for Bernie Catholic. Guards to number 10, Chief Wickway. That is his first personal yeah, got David, Number 12 coming in. David Monroe. Also 21, Larry. Rock, Rock is for Cal. So Aiden Keaton is in for Saturday Day. And David Monroe, an outstanding ball. We've seen him. Outstanding play. Good shot from the outside is good. Only Machado. Two point basket. So Machado gets two. Wait, wait. Ball gets gets tipped. It comes to Parrish. He wants three. Rims the basket. No good. Taken down by Tina. And slowly, with 12 seconds to go, Saddle River Day would slow it down. Looks like number two was hurt on that play. All the way down. If you're going in, it's all the way down. All the way down. Well, with one point, eight seconds to go, there's a travel ball. High scoring quarter. Yeah. 19 points. I think you're right, John. 
Carmona is going to the bench. He's limping a little bit. Number two for Saddle River Day. You may have to put two people on Copeland. He's got, he's got four. Oh, uh, the great shot is short. But Bergen takes a 19 to 10 lead over Saddle River Day. You are watching WCTV, the old following group from the township of Washington. Well, we can start at second quarter. 19 to 10, Bergen Catholic leads. This is the first game of the quarterfinals here at the Ballerman Gymnasium on the campus of Hackensack High School in Hackensack, New Jersey. Bergen Catholic leads 19 to 10 over Saddle River Day. <laughs> Neuenhausen drives in, gets stripped, puts it up, and a foul. Let's see if they're going to call Monroe. 12, Monroe with the foul. So Neuenhausen will go to the line. He has all the points for it. One more shot. Or He's got five points so far. What's he got? I'm looking at Newhouse. Up six? He's got five, I think. Now six. Now they got six. Yeah, they scoreboard has six. His first shot was three and then they changed it to a two. Ah, there you go. There you go. Bergen moving it around the perimeter. Clipman back out to McQuay. Parrish. Stops. Taken down on there. Up by Nita. Machado has. Comes across. The, almost comes across the court. Now it's across the court. Newenhouse. O'Neill. Bad pass. Taken down by Monroe. And he slipped on the, the line. Uh, let's see here now. O'Neill's going to trigger it in. It's just the start of things here in the second uh, quarter. And a foul. Hey, yeah, foul. good defensive move, but you can't use Catholic. your body, obviously. <laughs> Hold on, zero. Naeem Parrish. It's first person. Naeem Parrish. John, they are very high on Naeem Parrish. First person on At Bergen Catholic. A sophomore. You see a lot of sophomores really stepping up. Look at the defense. I love when they play defense like that. And they're going to call a second foul. You know, Larry, when you have three referees, they pick everything up. Austin Spencer. Well, which is great. Austin Spencer's back in, number one. And McQuaid is out. Nina. Out. I thought O'Neill had a clear shot. Got closer. Misses. Comes back out. Taken down. Get ready. By Bergen. Don't attack. Get out there if you don't get it. Monroe uses height to get. Oh, Parrish, holding it. Spence, taken down by Newhouse. Good block out. Machado stops, shoots, no good. Taken down by Parrish, no good. Brinkman into Spence. Spencer puts it up, no good. Neuenhauser has. Looks like there's a, a lid on the basket, John. <laughs> on both teams. sides, yep. It's 19-11, Bergen Catholic leads. Machado, O'Neal, you know, nice, nice pass. That's a nice pass by O'Neal to Machado. That was pretty, that was pretty. Bergen's gonna put three players in right in front of us. Benjamin, Benjamin, Nickway, and Copeland are in. Going to the line for the completion of the three-point play will be number 10, Richie Machado. He has one shot. Bergen hasn't scored in this quarter. But yes, that's right. And we're uh, with 19 in the first. 
Machado misses. Copeland with the rebound. Clintonman. Woodway. Clintonman off to Copeland. Parrish now. Parrish. Jump shot from the outside, rims the basket, no good. Machado. Machado working. Neuenhauser wants a three. Boy, did that bounce around. O'Neal for three, no good, that's gonna be off. Machado. Oh, hold up, they, got, they better have time. Oh, Machado hit hard. He went up as high as he could, came down and went down hard. All right, we'll be back. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. All right, they took uh, Aiden Keener, walked off under his own power. He went down. We heard the bang from here. But thank goodness uh, they're 18, years, 18, 16 years old. And they you could and I would have been out for the season. They would have come with the shovel <laughs> and taken us over to Hackensack Hospital, which is only two blocks away, John. I know that. I know My daughter-in-law is probably working there. Don't mention hospitals. My wife, no, no, no. no. My daughter-in-law is probably so working there now. Clinton, out. <laughs> Jump shot and foul as Wigway is fouled. Personal foul, hold on to Reynolds. Austin Sargenti's in number 15. Hold on, number 15, Preston Dewinhouse. His first personal foul. Now he's on the line for the Crusaders will be number 10, C.D. Wigway, number 10. So, so Wigway. So, Wigway gets it in. He's got three foul shots so far. Brady's on the ball. Brady's and that's the first point in the top of the quarter. Got to get matched. Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. And Wigway second. hits both of them. He's four for four from the line. He was there. He was there. He was there. My bad. Substitution for the Crusaders. Number 11, Tyler McWay. McWay is in. We should, have, we should have another point here. We should have another point. Who's here? Good it. So it's good. 20 to 13. Good no, time. it should be 21. There it is, you're right. Good. High hand speed. That's good. Ready, Terry. <laughs> Ready, B. Ready, B. Ready, B. Ready, B. I can count the first five. Good. <laughs> good. Ready, jump, team. Machado. Good. Bergen puts a little pressure on them trying to bring the ball up. I think that's a good thing to do. Uh huh. As a Newhouse. Out to O'Neill. Machado. I own seat. O'Neal. Machado. Back out to O'Neal. <laughs> Long shot by O'Neal. Whoa! <laughs> 21-16. Stalin, I tell you, saddle of the day is playing very hard, both ends of the court, 21-16. With three minutes and 35 seconds to go, Bergen Catholic's leading. Nice layup in there by Machado. Wigway, stops, looks, jumps, no good, rebound, and it's gonna be a Foul as Benjamin got inside. <laughs> so Machado has nine points at, at this junction in the game, and the game is coming closer and closer at 21 18. Preston Newenhouse is second Preston Newenhouse picked up the foul. Quay puts it out for Chip. And has nine for that one today. McQuay, uh, double check. Copeland, we got, <laughs> when you get Benjamin inside, give him the two points. Uh, yes, the only way you got him. nine, yes. Now Bergen puts on a full court press here, up by 23 to 18, hoping that they get a couple of easy turnovers. No problem. Saddle of the day, gets it up quickly. Neuenhauser, no good, too hard. Ball is knocked out of bounds. 
and it's going to be off Bergen. Harris comes in. So Gentry will sit down. Parrish is in. You know, an excellent play game for the first half for us. Oh my God, that's... that's... Newenhouse. I don't see holds the ball. Drives the baseline. Puts it up and foul. He'll get two shots. Personal foul, hold on the Crusaders. Charge to number five, Terry Copeland. His first personal foul is seven team on the Crusaders. First personal. So Copeland has a foul, right? Yes. That's his pers first personal. Well, yeah. No one's in foul trouble at all at this point. Ionchi gets the front of the rim. One more shot. He gets one more to go. Gus Kraft is in for the Rebels. He's number 13. As Ionchi makes both of them. And we have a three-point game with 2.37 to go. McQuaid bringing the ball up slowly. Wigway inside to Copeland. Copeland gets a foul. That's the way you answer. Inside to Copeland. Go, yeah. He's got, he's got 14 points. He got good position. The ball was fed to him. Turned around, got an easy basket, and was fouled. Kraft, who just came in, picked up his first foul. Copeland now has 14 points. 14 of the 25 points is Copeland. If he hits this one, be a nice rounded 15 points. <laughs> of 25. And he's got it. Full court press again. I don't see. O'Neal. I don't see. Kraft for three. Short. Going the other way. Quickly, McQuaid puts it up. No good, and foul. He'll get two. <laughs> Personal foul, charge to Santa River Day. So, Bergen putting a little pressure oh, on Santa River Day. Had a, has had a couple of turnovers here. And a three point game is now six, could be seven. He'll be shooting two. Very quiet crowd. I love this. It's early though. The sound will pick up. Look, the Quaid misses. Where's your man? My speech. Where's your man? Next play. Towards that miss. Yeah. Where's your man? Get Matt's 88. That's the first shot, foul shot that they missed. They missed. Yeah. In this game. 88. Got, gets the rub. <laughs> gets the rub. Again, the pressure. Mercado. And that pressure forced Saddle River Day to call a timeout with two minutes and eight seconds to go. Bergen County leads 27 to 20. Did you know, did you know that all the WCTV programs and our digital bulletin board are simulcast on free local BTV? You can watch it on your, on your phone, John. <laughs> Absolutely. Watch for free anywhere in the New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut metropolitan area on your smartphone, laptop, or on you, you can stream to your television. You can actually put it into your TV. You got to get like a 10-year-old kid to explain it to us, but they will be well, able I to do it. I do have a couple got, of I got a couple of yeah. Sign up for free streaming on Roku, Fire Stick, Apple, Android, and for many of the local TV stations. To view WCTV, you select Community, at the bottom of the page and programs can be recorded. So go to the Apple Store, localbtv.com. You can always download the link directly from our website, which is at www.wctv.us. And when you go to www.wctv.us, you will have a schedule of our upcoming broadcasts. We will be covering the Jamboree right through the finals, February 17th. Next week, February 11th, will be the semifinals here. And on the 17th, we'll be at uh, the FDU for the finals of the, this year's Jamboree. Machado will throw it out. Ready, go. 
Oh, they're too close to us. <laughs> I backed off. <laughs> Larry, so, I backed off. <laughs> smartly backed off. Not like me. No, you were just stupidly staying here. And I'm over. <laughs> Hey, they, they come over. We are right on. I mean, if we were on half court, right in the middle, we couldn't be any close. We were about two inches off the court. <laughs> this is the closest we've ever been. Look at all oh, uh, No good, Benjamin. <laughs> puts it up and in. How many games have Brandon Benjamin changed with a rebound and a, a defensive rebound, big one, or an offensive rebound like he just made now? and put it back for a score. The score was a three-point game with four minutes to go. It is now a nine-point game with 1.48 to go, and Benjamin's gonna to try to make it a 10-point game. And doesn't does. make it. <laughs> What's that? <coughs> See it, now you've got two back here. Go B. See it, Tyler. Here comes Machado. Machado. One stream, <laughs> gonna be short. Cliff <laughs> stepped on the line with 1.30 to go. Substitution for Vernon Athlete number 21. That is now Hey, next, go, go, go. So number 21 comes in. Yeah, Rock and Fenning. Good tie I'm gonna give a good Italian name. Dick, Declan. <laughs> 21, right? Benjamin again, left-handed <laughs> layup, 11-point lead. This press has really worked for Bergen. <clears throat> and they're gonna call Wuchen Friend for a foul. <clears throat> so Wuchen Friend is at, I tell you what, John, I think we're too close to the court. <laughs> Very much so. I'm back in Bobby Mains, be right watch your shoulder over you. here. The Bobby has a bad shoulder. <laughs> uh, I'll protect you. Had, oh, I feel safe. <laughs> oh, am I safe now? Oof. <laughs> oh, I can breathe easily. Let me exhale, excuse me. <laughs> I don't need his missus. McQuaid's going to bring it up. 11 point lead for Bergen Catholic with one minute to go in the half. Parrish has the ball taken away. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that uh, nice play high. by Kraft over to Machado. Parker's going to shoot. No good. Taken down by Copeland. That big body was able to push people away and he went up for the rebound. McQuaid will bring it down with 30 seconds to go in the half. <coughs> Bergen leads 31-20. McQuaid looking, he wants to hold it for one shot. Take the last shot on the six. As you heard, last Billy shot. Armstrong, the head coach, saying the same that's thing. It, that's it, that's, that's it, that's it. you're picking up all this knowledge from the coach. Well, We're so close. The nice thing when we hear what they're saying, the bad thing is we're gonna get killed here. <laughs> I'll protect you, don't worry about it. Oh. By, uh, by all one knows that I'm protected. Yeah, right out the door. <laughs> Parrish, long from outside, hits <laughs> from the outside at the buzzer. And that makes it 34 to 20. Bergen Catholic lead Saddle River Day, a 14 point halftime lead. Just four minutes and 15 seconds to go. It was a three point lead, 20 to 17, and now we got 34 20. We'll be back with the second half in just a minute. Well, we're back here, we're going to start the second half. We have the, uh, the scores and the fouls, John. Well, right off the bat, let's do Saddle River Day. Uh, you had Richard Machado had four uh, baskets for eight points. Jeremiah Leonsi had two foul shots for two points. Preston Newhouse, number 15, won three, three points. And, and his and Newhouse the brother had seven points. So he's beating seven to three in that case. Total for 20 points. For Bergen Catholic, up by 34 when they had that big run at the end of the first half to lengthen their lead. 
Parrish had two threes for six. Copeland had four threes in the first quarter and a basket and a, and a foul shot, total of 15. Wigway had four points, McQuaid had one point, and Brandon Benjamin, the 6'8", had eight points for a total of 34. But B go ahead, Larry. Okay, the BCAA, along with the Jamboree Committee, would like to thank its sponsors, JAG One Physical Therapy, WCTV of Washington Township, The Record, Sports Time, and Parkwood Deli. We'd like to thank you for your continued support in this wonderful, <coughs> wonderful tournament here in February. We have March Madness and we have Jamborees in February. Fabulous February for the Jamboree. We love it in February. <laughs> Getting closer to the spring. <laughs> uh -huh. We got to get away from this temperature today. Well, you know what? If it's going to be 36 hours of winter, I'll take it every year. I'll Next week, it's going to be in the 50s. So. Unbelievable. All right, we're ready for the second half. Bergen Catholic, using their defense at the end of the first half, was able to open up by 14-point lead. Saddle River Day will throw it in. Terry, be alert. Machado will come up. Watch by Clinton. Long <laughs> jump shot by Preston Newenhouse. So that's three. Copeland. That's the Paris. Bergen passing the ball on the perimeter, looking for something inside. Woodway inside. And there it is. No good. Benjamin missed it. Ionese comes down with it. Hands to Machado. And Machado will slowly bring it up court. Hey, he got a whistle. I always like Brandon Benjamin. He always has the same exterior. Doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low. Just plays the game. A heck of a player. No. <laughs> Machado off the dribble. So that could have been four points, John. <laughs> Larry, that's what they need to do. Remember, so Machado. The game, they got to shoot the three. Oh, yeah. They want a chance here. Beautiful. That's the third one for nine points. Whitway for three. Rims the basket. No good. Benjamin again. Another offensive rebound. He's got ten for the game. All inside work. 36, 28. 26, 36, 26. I That's correct. Stolen by Wigway. Takes it back outside. Parrish for three. No good. Neuenhauser has it. Over to O'Neill. We'll bring it up. In the gaps. In the gaps. Good. Machado. He's a heck of a Looks ball player. No good. <clears throat> Parrish. They're going to say the ball came off Wigway. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Oh. Keep working. Saturday the day has the ball. Ready, get it. My hands stay in. And Machado's got 11 points so far. Come on, Machado. Mm -hmm. Work. Good <clears throat> stance. Talk. Alert. <laughs> Run. The ball got bounced around. Wigway coming down the court very quickly, lays it up, knocked away by Newenhouse, coming back out to Parrish. Wigway outside. Parrish puts it back out. Clintonman. Parrish. Clintonman wants it, shoots, no good. Rebound. Benjamin. They're going to call a foul. <clears throat> They're going to call it on Newenhouse. Oh, 
Aiden Kina is in, number, number zero. That is his first personal foul. Second, eight foul. Parrish. Parrish stops, shoots, rims the basket, no good. Bouncing high in the air. Benjamin comes away with it, knocked away, taken away again. And foul. Oh, I'm sorry, the ball got knocked out of bounds. I thought I honestly yeah, fouled him. I thought I agree with you. I was a little too quick. But he, he blew the whistle for the ball being out. We thought we caught a foul. That could be our first mistake. <laughs> Clintman inside to Benjamin. They're going to call Machado over the top. <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> 36-26, very Catholic lead. They, they've led most of the game just for a short minute, minute or so. Saddle River Day had a small 5-3 lead, but it's been Bergen the entire way. So Machado has two fouls. Wigway, baseline, gets it out to Copeland. Parrish. Clintman, <laughs> Parrish wanted it. <laughs> he had a frustrated fan calling a walk. <laughs> McQuaid is coming in. Tyler McQuaid. We <laughs> got referees all over the place. <laughs> Including us. <laughs> Including us, but we, we count. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> in our minds. In our dreams. In the fall, mind for our dreams. <laughs> and you got me to my We don't make Good mistakes. No. <laughs> Just our brain. No. Our mouth Joe, makes Joe, mistakes. <laughs> Machado working. Quaid pulls him more, pulls him back. A 10-point lead Joe. for Joe. Bergen Catholic. <laughs> lost. <laughs> Saddle River lost the ball. Wigway once and no good. I don't see he has it. Only two points for Bergen in this quarter, by the way. Yeah. But they did the same thing in the first quarter. <laughs> Machado, ooh, the ball got tucked away. Moonhouse is no good. Comes right back to him. Long shot for Neil, no good. And knocked out of bounds off Benjamin. When David Monroe will come in. Long Bergen Catholic bounds. Monroe, number 12. Good, good, good. Machado. Uh, fight for the ball. <laughs> Machado still has it. And they're gonna say it's out of bounds, off. Machado. Now on the floor for the Rebels, number 15, Preston Newenhouse. Preston Newenhouse, Parker's brother. Come in. One is a senior, Parker, and Preston is a sophomore. So we'll have Moon Houses playing basketball for the next two years. McQuaid gets Lane, puts it up with the left hand, no good. Moon Houses has the ball stolen inside and a foul. Oh, he'll, he'll shoot too. <laughs> Parrish made the steal, handed over to um, Benjamin. Benjamin, and Benjamin just missed the layup. His first personal foul. So Benjamin has eight points, uh, ten points Brandon right now. Benjamin. We'll shoot two. Have two, shots, two. Benjamin you got ten points, that you? Yes. Make it eleven. Kraft is in number thirteen and number ten Machado for Saddle River Day. Shot, no good. Taken down by Newenhouse. Pressure again by Bergen. 
They're going to count five. They're going to count. They're... And the pressure. Bottom step on the, on the line. Timeout right. We have a timeout on the court with two minutes and 59 seconds to go. Bergen Catholic leads Battle of the Day, 37-26. You are watching the 66 Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. We are WCTV, the all-volunteer group from the Township of Washington. Two minutes and 59 seconds in the third quarter. That must have been a pep talk for uh, Saturday of the day that time. They came in in tandem, <laughs> ready for a battle. So McQuaid will uh, fire it in for Bergen Catholic, and away we go. Benson's inside, and a layup. <laughs> There's the pressure again. That was Benjamin. Long jump shot, no good, taken by Monroe, and a foul. Take it out, David. Take it out. 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 Wigway from the side, no good. Bounce to the bottom, reaching over. And Brandon Benjamin got the rebound, but they're gonna pull the foot. They reached over the back. So they called Benjamin for a push underneath the basket. Machado gets it. There goes the team. He got it to Parker. And a foul! Preston is good by Preston. Preston Newenhouse, the sophomore, puts it in. Preston, a foul was called by number 20, Brandon Benjamin of the Crusaders. So 39 28. His third personal foul, third game foul. Three personal by Benjamin. Oh, he gets a free throw line for the completion of the three point play. Okay, so Brandon Benjamin comes Preston out. Newenhouse. He'll have Munchen one ben shot. Comes in. Shoot it! <laughs> no good. Monroe has. Hands off to McQuaid. Just move a little bit. Move a little bit over here. Perfect. McQuaid. Parrish, he wants it from way downtown and hits the three. 41 28. Bergen got over the shadow third, over there. Third three pointer for Parrish. I don't see misses the rebound. Kraft has it. And step down. they're going to say he's stuck on the line. Yes. My eyesight picked there, right up. All right, the game for the Crusaders, number 24, Julius Abel. And for the Rebels, Saddle River Day, number 23, Parker. There we go. 14-point lead at this point for Bergen Catholic. Yeah, Bergen Catholic extending its lead. Tyler McQuaid now hands to Parrish. Okay, Gray pulls it back. And now they're taking time, Bergen. Nice and easy. Julius Avent is in for Bergen. I think the first time he called his name. McQuaid from the corner. That's a three pointer. Hits the three. Three. So McQuaid hits for three. <coughs> Stolen by Parrish. Puts it up. And oh, I love that move. And Bergen is beginning to blow this game open now. Defense is getting two. 
got a river day. And a foul. What a job by number 11 that time for Bergen. Well, McQuaid scored the foul, but he chased the oh, uh, ball handler down. You can't so take that away from a young man like that, Larry. When they run like Evan that, if they foul, it's okay. 14. A fast run by Bergen County has opened this game 47 to 28. Good fist. Using defense, defense is the key. Oh, defense. You see, come off all on defense. Machado will shoot, no good, rebound. And for Bergen, McQuay has. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. McQuaid will try to hold for one shot. Advent, right in front of me. Stolen by Alonso. Into Machado, three seconds. <laughs> Good if it goes. It will. And it doesn't. So the third quarter. Four, and the end of with Bergen Catholic three. leading 47-28. Saddle oh, with the day. You are watching WCTV, the old Mountain Table, the Township of Washington. Hey, two out. Oh, we start the fourth quarter. Bergen Catholic leads 47-26, the first game of the quarterfinals of the Jamboree here at Hackensack High School in Hackensack, New Jersey, and that event hits the three. And Bergen Catholic now really is playing outstanding now, playing good defense and hitting the open shot, 40 to 28. Eight 20, made 20, a three-pointer that time. Yeah. High hit! Good David, great job! Moonhouse. Stops, looks, shoots, no good. Paris with the rebound. Quickly up to Advent. Monroe puts it up, lays it in. Now you see the athleticism. Bergen Catholic take effect. 52 28. Machado wins the basket. Good. No good. Comes to O'Neill. Good high hand, yes, yes, yes. Good job, good job. No doubt, Saturday of the day screwed with them for a half to maybe a couple of minutes of the third quarter. And then Bergen put on the defense, started hitting their open shots. Got inside layups. Had a run of 10-2, 12-2. And here we are, 52-28. Defense wins How many four points games. did uh, Saddle River score in the third quarter? Go, Bergen! In, in, the, in the third quarter, uh, Saddle River had eight points. And Bergen? And Bergen had uh, 13 points. That's it, Ty! In the third quarter. Good, keep them there, nice. Good, Cowboys, Cowboys. Hey, hey. Long jump shot. Got it. Hey, They're missing their shots now, hey, hey. Saddle River. Hey, hey. They're missing it. Hey, man. McQuaid. Evan, McQuaid inside, tried to get Monroe. Machado has. Oh. Machado? Pina? High hand! High hand! Good, David. Good house. Good. Fine. Good house. Oh, again, a miss. Run the tech tool sprint. They've missed the last six shots. Yeah, that's 52 28. 24 points spread at this point. Ber Stop. Bergen Catholic has not missed many of their shots. And they played great defense. Heaven. So Come that's on. the second three for him. Since he came into the game. That's Evan. Evan O'Neill with three. McQuaid. Parrish, no. Parrish. And a foul. John, is uh, Julius Avent a, a freshman on, he has on two, this team? Two, three. Six, he is six foot six. 
It's Bert, Bert is all wrong. And Bert is only two three pointers for him. Uh, Good looking ball player. Zero, Ten threes for Burton in this game. And we thought that of the day would be hitting the threes. Well, you know what? Defense has stopped. Ah, that was it, yeah. That's the key. It all changed with Burton. They went into their full court press under the basket, put pressure. They got a couple of baskets and they just started from there. Look at that. Two misses. And Monroe is Monroe is supposed to get to the inside Monroe. position and lays it up for the two points they missed. 57. 31. Look at this. Monroe in the air. And a timeout. Monroe got six points in this quarter. Fans are getting into this game. Paul well, Bergen has really put their athleticism on, on display here. Uh, defensively, they run the running the court very well. Layups, hitting the open man. 59-31. Uh, it's a clinic. Larry, when you play defense, defense create offense, and they'll run with them, and they'll get good shots, and and they're shooting the threes. You know what? Bergen is. I can give you the number. A rough, at least, I got at least 10, 10 threes. 10 threes, yep, yep. At this point. The Two BCAA, threes. along with the Jamboree Committee, would like to thank its sponsors, Jag One Physical Therapy, WCTV of Washington Township, The Record, Sports Sign, and Parkwood Deli. Thank you so very much for being a sponsor. The Bergen County there, Coach there. Association and the Jamboree Committee really appreciate it, and the Student athletes throughout Bergen County will receive money and donations because of your support and the support of the fans that attend these wonderful games here for the Bergen County Jamboree. <laughs> Parrish comes in and I, on the scoreboard he's got 11 points. I don't know if he's leading all scorers. <laughs> uh, yeah, Parrish has 11. Uh, and what does see. Copeland have? No, Copeland's got 15. There you go. That's right, Copeland's 15. And, and Benjamin's got 13. Good, Jack. High hand and third. David Watson. Keener. Ball gets ripped away uh, and dribbles out of bounds. Substitution for the Rebels for Saddle River Day. Number 11 for Jeremiah Anson. So oh, Saturday will <coughs> put it in. Ionisi puts it in, he's fouled. foul with charge to number 21 of the Crusaders, Declan Wookerfenny. That is his second personal, fourth game. One shot. <coughs> so one shot, not by Ionisi. And he misses. <coughs> Monroe with the rebound. Hands over to Parrish, who gets it back to McQuaid. Right right McQuaid. Parrish. McQuaid. Uh, inside. No good. Rebound it. No good. Saddle River Day has. Back outside. No, no, out out. Get him off no him. good. Nice. Go to town. Talk to him, Todd. McQuaid has a hole, and the ball gets knocked out of bounds. Substitution for the Green Bay. They're going to say Bergen. Brandon Benjamin. Bergen catches the run. He's going to play defense. Boston Sargenti's in. Parrish is out. Yeah, Coach Armstrong is getting all his players into the game. Oh, yeah, you got to try to get everybody in now. You know, to Chamboree, Newhouser. Oh, right I to me. I, I was going to steal that ball. 
I don't see the craft. Craft oh, back outside. Machado got a lane. Loses the ball. Good and out of bounds. So, John, we go, I think we could put this game in the books here. I agree with you. Outstanding. Back to slip, Declan. Performance by Bergen Catholic. Started off a little slow, but that's the 11 o'clock game. But and their defense is, really is great. They do a great job on defense. Brandy, great and job. Uh, Benjamin. Uh, Benjamin. Number 20, the Bergen Catholic. Brandon Benjamin, his fourth personal foul. There's one thing about South Boys. Good. They played hard. Good. They, they played hard. Oh, don't forget, Parker a small Newman. school. And this will help them. You know, there was a point there in the one more shot quarter. for New it, was, it was a three-point game. That's With correct. about four minutes to go in the in the half. And then Bergen, I don't know, maybe it's the <laughs> eleven o'clock game. They, they, have, they took a, a, a half almost <laughs> to get going. So chin that, chin that. But they play everything starts from the attack, defense of Bergen County. And offense is easy again. Shoot the three. Ten three. We want to mention the head coach for Saturday of the day is Anthony Gallo. And for uh, Bergen Catholic is Billy Armstrong. I mean, Junior hits another one. He came, he came from the bench and he's got three threes so far. Nine points, not bad for the freshman. High hands, high hands, high hands. Machado, what a nice player he is. Excellent player. And a nice shot by Oni. Powell, charge to Bergen Catholic. David Monroe's going to come in and Brandon Benjamin will sit down. Brandon Benjamin. That is his fifth personal foul. <laughs> Five personals on Benjamin. So Benjamin we, fouled out. So right Benjamin, yeah, Benjamin had 13, 13 points for the game. Number 11, Jeremiah Ayanse. Box out, five guys rebound. Five guys rebound, we're down and ready. Quiet in here. Oh, very quiet. <laughs> Mr. Rebound, our basket, I'm sorry. 62-35. We're approaching under, just triangle. under three minutes to go in the game. <laughs> McQuaid, out, long shot by, by Sargent, no good. <laughs> Taken down by Machado. Machado stops, look what a bomb this is. No good, taken down by Sargenti. Over to Avent. Avent holds it, throws it cross court. Oh, whoop. Knocked away by Machado. Substitution. 2.22 to go, 62.35 as Neuenhauser will take a seat. And his brother, Preston, will come in. Avent is also out. He'll end three threes for nine points for the game with 2.22 to go. And of course, Benjamin has 13 after he's fouled out. So there's 22 of their points. Oh, Long look at that three shot. point shot by <laughs> Preston Newenhouse. <laughs> one of the, one of the brothers. <laughs> Monroe puts it up, gets it. Monroe plays it. Under two minutes to go in the game. 64-38. Bergen Catholic leads. They will come. They will be in the semifinals next week here at Hackensack. They'll be the, they'll be one. There's three more teams that are gonna pull out that bracket. Picking down, rebound, foul. Gortelli's in now, Rocco Gortelli. He has a foul. Let's call on number 11 of the Rebels, Jeremiah Ionzi. Ionzi. His second personal foul. Rocco. At the free throw line for the Crusaders of Bergen Catholic. 
Number 14, Rocco Vitale. So Rocco, Rocco Vitale will go to the line. Mm, gets, no, misses. I thought he was gonna fall yeah. through. 130 to go. Good, David. From the outside, no good. Monroe with the big rebound. Comes up. Long jump shot. Good. Austin Sargenti. With a three. 15. Hey, jump shot from the outside. Number 35. Another three point. Mr. Smith. That was Sargenti, I think. Yeah. We don't have 35 in white. No, I didn't have 35, yeah. No, we don't have a Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. But Sargenti had a three. Uh, Monroe goes in and is fouled by Bergen. 38 seconds to go. Bergen has a 31 point lead. Well, they started slow. I tell you, John, they started slow. Had to be the 11 o'clock start. But the way Coach Giuliano coaches, you got to run. If you don't run, you don't play. <laughs> and that's a mistake. Because no one's the situation. You go out, you got to run. And you got to play the game. Monroe with the shot. He has nine points now, 35 seconds to go. Tyler Riverday brings it up. Looking for one last shot. No good. Rebound. No shots. No shots. No shots. No shots. 18 seconds to go. 15, 15, 4. That's it. And that Four, should be it. Eight, nine. And that'll do it. Six. Final score, 73-41. Bergen Catholic leads. And Bergen Catholic will move on to the semifinals next week here at Hackensack High School. The other three schools, as I mentioned, will be determined in the next three games. Our next game. Stay tuned. Ramapo Raiders and the Ramsey Rams. John, give us the high scores on both teams. Just the high scores. Just straight up. Now we get yeah. 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 Copeland. Copeland had 15 for Bergen. Benjamin had 13 and 11 for Parrish. And for uh, Saddle River Day, we had 11 points for Machado, 11 points for one of the Newen House brothers and eight points for uh, the other Newen House. Well, congratulations to Bergen. They play next week. They'll play the winner of this game coming up. Ramsey Rams and uh, Ramapo Raiders. Stay tuned for the second game.